Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Salty, and this is the saltiest show on YouTube. And today, we'll be witnessing the unholy union of spices and mead while they're going into a bottle. And we're probably doing some taste testing. <laughs> oh, I was wearing the hoodie, I couldn't resist. Um, today we're gonna be um, bottling my sexy bitches here. Oh, do you see them? Can you taste it? Oh, hmm, nice. Smells good. Smells good. Uh, so we'll be bottling these and we'll do, be doing a taste test, which is awesome. This is my my official final episode for this mead series, and I will be going out of town this well tomorrow. I probably at the same time this episode goes up and unfortunately I won't be able to make any episodes for at least a week maybe two which kind of sucks but that's the way it is sometimes in life but when I get back we're gonna do a labeling episode as well because I will be labeling this mead I was gonna do it now but my labels aren't done yet so what you gonna do uh, so now we're just bottle. We'll, we'll take two. So today we will, damn it, take three. So today we will just be bottling. That wasn't so hard. Um, and as you can see here, here we have the bottles. And I don't think I show, showed you this. Uh, I just bought a regular like bottle thingy. I don't know what you call this, crate thingy that fits perfectly with my half liter bottles so it's a lot easier to store and move around and stuff so I love it so it will be going into those and um, I'll join you afterwards with a f with a taste test so we'll see how these turned out which is gonna be super exciting <sighs> okay now we have bottled my mead and from these three last batches, I got four liters of each, so a total of eight bottles of of them all, which is awesome. Um, and now we're gonna do a taste test, and we're gonna start with the black thorn and uh, anise seed, or slow or in anise seed, whatever you want to call it, but this one, and. By the way, welcome to badhairday.com. Jesus Christ. Oh, that's what I get for recording these in the afternoon after work. Okay, ignoring my bad hair, we're going to try the first one, which is the, um, the slow and aniseed, as I said. When you sniff it, you, you get a really strong aniseed smell to it. Not get really strong as an exaggeration since my clover one what was very strong in in the clover department this one is absolutely not that bad at all it smells kind quite nice actually let's taste it it's a bit heavy on the anise seed not a lot but it's a bit heavy on it. What I should have done with this is I should have taken out the anise seed after just a few days, used like a bit less and then took it out after a few days and then just had the slow in there. I think you could even, you make the mead completely and then you pour it into bottles with the slow in it and let it stand for a few months because slow needs time to Mm. The slow needs time to release its flavors. You can definitely feel a bit of that, you know, dryness from the slow. But taste-wise, it's just the anise seed. Mm. Which is lovely, don't get me wrong. I still like it. Mm. This one's a lot better than the spiced one. Mm. Let's try the next one. Okay, so here we have the forest one, 
with uh, the fern needle tea and the lingonberries. Okay, this this one, this is just what was left in the in the container. So as you can see, the clarity is focus. There, as you can see, the clarity is absolutely not there. It's a lot better the the part that I actually put into bottles, but as you can see, this one is kind of has a white tint to it, and that's be just because it's the bottom part of the of the original bottle that I put it from. The ones that I put into actual bottles, they are it's much clearer, but this one should still be fine taste wise. Hmm. I'm not getting a lot, actually. No, not a lot, smell-wise. Let's try it. Ooh. Yeah, you can really taste the pine needles. Same here with the lingonberries, same as the, um, the slowberries. I think they should have been in a bit longer. But when I actually when I took the lingonberries out, they had lost all color, so they were com almost completely white. So maybe more or less pine needle tea. I'm not sure. Oh, this one is super lovely. Oh, I like this. Mm, this is my favorite so far. Mm, it tastes li really Nordic, you know, with with the pine needles and, and stuff. This is true Viking mead. Mm, this one is good. Okay, I'll take a short break here because I'm gonna finish this. I poured myself a big glass. Mm. Okay, so now we have the last mead and this is the citrus one. And this was the one I really didn't like at the first taste test, so I'm really excited to see how I like it now. Color-wise, I think this one is the best. It has the most clarity to it. The other ones you have with just this little in the glass, you have a problem actually seeing through it. But this one, you can see through it no problem. So, a lot of nice clarity. I'm still not sure, actually. Something in the smell reminds me of like dishwater or something. Okay, let's try it. Okay, it's a lot better. It is a lot better than the first taste test I did. Um, so it's going to be fun to test this one in a few months. Um, see if it's gotten any better there. Because it has... My theory is still the strawberries. I shouldn't have used strawberries. I should have just done it with uh, with lemon and lime. It's a lot better. It's not good. This is the one that turned out the wor worst, I think, of, out of all of them. Yeah, not super happy with that one, but it's still good. Don't get me wrong. Um, but it could be a lot better, as all of them. But we learned a lot of things, and it's going to be super fun to try this as soon as I get back here in a few weeks. We're going to start another batch, and we're going to do it more properly this time. And we're going to do more tried and tested tastes to it. Um, one taste I'm really excited about, I want to do a Viking blood, is what they call it, I guess. Well, what some people call it, which is mead with cherries in it. And I think that's going to be super delicious. And then we're going to do some more basic ones um, with actually just honey, more like pure mead. Not a lot of these mellow melts or spiced meads or whatever you call it. And I think that that's going to be super fun. So this was officially my last episode of my mead making series. So let's summarize a bit. When it comes to spices, less is more. More is less. No, less is more. Uh, because I added way too much spices. Uh, well, when it comes to clover and a bit with the anise seed. So, use a lot less than I did, if you're trying this yourself. But other than that, I think 
I think we did a pretty good job. Pretty good job. And as it is with all things, read up before you actually do anything. It makes everything a lot easier. I realized a lot of small mistakes that I did at, after I did them because it didn't feel right or I didn't get the result I wanted. And then I started reading and I was like, oh my god, I totally messed up. Like for the Clover example. Um, I have a lot of people telling me like, yeah, I just put one piece of Clover in an entire five liter batch and that's more than enough. I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> but so yeah, reading up is never a bad idea and it could help out a lot. But tomorrow there will be a short episode coming out where I will rank my meads out of the ones I've done. And I'll tell you which one I like most and which one I like the least and why. Um, I've already done that with all of them, but it will be a summarizing for those of you who don't have the energy to watch all my videos. Uh, and after that, it's going to be a short break for me. Um, but as soon as I'm back, I'll start making videos again. And in hopefully about a month or maybe a bit more, let's say five to six weeks, then I will be getting my motorcycle back. So then we'll be getting a lot of more motorcycle content out, which is awesome because I miss her. Her name is Monique, by the way. She's a dirty girl. <laughs> yeah, she is. Uh, well, yeah, uh, now I'm just rambling. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.